It is an area of downtown Spokane in the midst of rebirth, but over the weekend someone used a cement truck to smash a grocery store window near the rid path. It was a cement block actually, and despite all the work to shed its recent past, people at the rid path club apartments say vandals aren't making it easy. Creme 2's Amanda Rowley looked into why. Downtown Groceries over the weekend had a cement block smashed through their window. They've since boarded it up, but this type of vandalism isn't new to the area. In fact, this is the same block as the Rid Path Hotel. And while it's still being renovated, you can still see marks of vandalism on the once abandoned building. Traces of graffiti on the brick walls, some brand new, others recently scrubbed off. Spokane Police Officer Ben Maplethorpe told me prior to our interview today, he found something interesting as he walked the block around the Ridpath Club apartments. And the Ridpath half of the block had the most graffiti. Um, the other half of the block that's, that I don't know if it's a different building management, but it's, it's occupied um, and has been for quite some time. And so what I've noticed is there's not a whole lot of graffiti on that end of the block. When I asked Officer Maplethorpe why that is, he explained it could be a number of reasons, but he believes it's the result of the broken window theory. Disorder and incivility can uh, lead to, to cr crimes, and so uh, possibly one of those is uh, somebody broke a window and then it, was, it wasn't replaced, somebody saw that, another person saw that, said, oh, it's okay to do that. They continued to damage the building. He says that may be the case at the Rid Path because it's been unoccupied for quite a few years. But it's being renovated and more tenants are moving in as construction nears completion. But from the outside, it may not look that way. Project architect Ron Wendell tells me crews have nearly completed up to the ninth floor out of the 11 floors total. Wendell says they've worked on scrubbing off most of the graffiti on the building's exterior, but the full clean sweep outside will be the final phase of construction. He says they did get a bit off schedule, but now expect to open all 11 floors this October. Amanda Rowley, Creme 2 News.